Hello everyone, today I'm going to do unboxing and first impression of the Samsung Galaxy A21. The version I have is for track phone, I paid $80 for it on eBay and as of today it's still available for that price. Now the best thing about this phone is it comes with a year service on track phone, so it's going to be 1500 minutes tax or data and it's a yearly plan. So the reason I purchased this was because I had to switch my uh, main number to another company um, I got a different number, I got a good deal on a phone, so I decided to, at that time, to get a different number. So I was having two different numbers, and now I just want to cut it to one number. But I wanted to keep my old one and move it to some company, uh, just in case I want to go back to that number. So this was a perfect solution, it was cheap, so you get the phone, you get a year, uh, year of service. I'm pretty much not going to text or use minutes on that other phone. I'm going to switch to the new one, but I wanted to keep it just in case. So another good thing is it comes with a few extras. You get a case for it. You get a car charger, USB-C. Not sure if you guys can see that. Uh, you get a power bank, but power bank, it, it didn't show up in description. So it just came in the box. It's a micro USB-C, so it won't work with this phone, but they send it anyway. And you get a couple free trials, Pandora and Test Kitchen and a couple others. I'm not going to use those and the track one. So let's open the phone and see what comes inside and how the phone looks. And uh, here's some specs if you guys want to see. I'm not sure if it shows on the camera. Basically, it's a 4G, 4G LTE phone. It's not a 5G phone yet. It has a 6.5 inch screen. Should be a decent, um, decent battery. It has 32 gigabytes of storage and 3 gigabytes of RAM. It has a quad camera on the back. And of course, it has a front camera. But I'll go over that more when I do actual review. So the first thing on top was the track phone, serial number of the phone, so I removed that. And then we have Samsung A21, about your phone, if you want to read it, get familiar with it. And we have also some 611 number and helpline. So let's, uh, let's see what else comes inside. We got the SIM injector tool. This is really nice when they include this, unlike Apple. We got a pretty big size Samsung brick charger. Let me open it just to see how many. And here's the specs on it. So here's the specs. It says adaptive fast charging on. Okay. And then we have the cable. USB-C to Type-A, looks pretty short, maybe three feet, so wish it was a little bit longer. And we have quick reference card, and then we have the track phone. So let me just push this on the side so we can see the actual phone. Here we go, we got the actual phone. It's pretty big. This is similar to the G Play, it's much taller, it has that um, tall and 6.5 inch HD screen, 32 gigabytes, and uh, let me open it, peel this off. It looks beautiful, it's actually very, it's not heavy at all, so I like that. So on this one, we have the fingerprint sensor right here. I noticed some versions of it when I was doing some research. I have a fingerprint on the side where the power button is, but I guess this one has it on the back, which I actually prefer. And as I mentioned, it has the quad cameras on the back, has a front camera right here. And yeah, it looks very slick. Well, this will leave a lot of fingerprints. This is plastic. So let's go over the, has a USB-C on the bottom, speaker grill, 
3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the left side, we have the SIM card and I believe SD expansion card slot. On top, looks like a microphone hole. And uh, on the right side, we have the volume rockers. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't put that on camera. We have volume rockers and the power button. And that's it, looks like just one speaker. Um, so let's start it and see how the screen looks. So I just got to set it up. I switched my phone number, which took maybe 40 minutes from my old company to this company. Everything went smooth. So my first impression of the phone is the icons look very, very huge compared to, for example, Android phone. Give me a second. Let me just get the other one and I'll show you guys example. Now you can see what I mean. Hopefully I can make the you know, icon smaller. I do prefer this, definitely. And the second thing I noticed is Samsung really wants you to use their stuff. So if I go to the left side, to the, you know, they, they just bombard you with a bunch of stuff that I really don't want to use. I prefer the regular um, Android experience, which would be for example, like if I move it to the left side, I will get all the news and stuff like that. This is something I do prefer. So hopefully I can um, I can just switch it back to the Android experience. I'm not sure if Samsung going to let me, but I'll give it a try. Now, we also came with a bunch of apps that I'm really not planning to use. And they installed. Uh, once I actually got the phone, they did like all the updates. So the, the Z apps got installed right after. I'm not sure if I was able to quit, but I was doing something else while my number was transferring. So we got Candy Crush, bunch of games, this cover bar, which is super annoying. I'm going to delete that right away. There's a couple other apps and stuff like that. Thankfully, you can remove all this app, so that's not an issue. Other than that, there's some Samsung apps and Microsoft apps and um, Google apps. So... After, it's going to take me probably an hour to remove all these apps and to set it up the way I want it. But hopefully I can remove this Bixby. I, I don't want to use it. I just want a pure Android experience. So, But other than that, if, I, if I'm if i able to remove all that, it seems like a pretty pretty decently fast phone. I haven't had any issues. The, the fingerprint works fast. And it's looking on the back. I'll try the cameras and um, after I'll use it for a couple weeks and I'll give you guys my honest review. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.